Hello and welcome to Chess Please, my name is Andy and today I'm going to be talking about the concept of Zugzwang. So for those of you who don't know, Zugzwang is a concept in chess or any other turn-based player game whereby you are at a distinct disadvantage in a particular position by virtue of it being your go and also by the fact that you can't pass, you can't just skip your go. It's a German word, as you might have guessed, uh, Zugzwang, meaning move compulsion. So that again, by the fact that you have to move, you're actually at a disadvantage. You're doing a decisively bad thing rather than doing nothing at all, which is a little bit better than the thing that you have to do. So we're going to look at three examples of Zugzwang, one very simple, one incredibly fun and difficult, and then one from one of my live games. So let's jump on in. So the first one we'll look at here is very, very rudimentary. In this position on the board, it is white to play to put black into Zugzwang. And again, this is quite simplistic because, you know, this is a pretty simple enough mate as it stands. But with white's move, you notice that the king is very nearly in opposition of our king, um, which is to say it's facing our king. And in that case, with a rook, we can deliver checkmate. But at the moment, black has a little bit of maneuvering room or they're not in any threat of getting checkmated this very move. Um, so to put black into Zugzwang, we basically just need to keep our rook anywhere along this file and out of reach of the king's grubby paws so that the king can't take him. But anywhere along this file, we'll put the king in Zugzwang because obviously the king can't go here the king can't go here because of the, well, our king. So they have to go here. It is their compulsion to move into the one square at which we can checkmate them, which they will have to do or else just resign, which many people might do as well. And that checkmate there. So again, by virtue of it being black's go, they have to go. They're at a disadvantage. Whereas if it wasn't their go, if they could just skip here, but it would be a little bit trickier. Like if we, like if they could just stay here, certainly a little bit more noodle work going into making that checkmate happen. So that is our first example. Our second example is called the Morphe puzzle and a very famous example of Zugzwang. And this is white to play again, a little bit of a circus position. Like, I don't know how often this is going to happen in a game slash, you know, if you ever see yourself in this position, here's how you break this down. So again, taking advantage of the fact that it, we want to put black into Zugzwang and you can start to see here that the pressure is starting to tell. We've got pressure here on the A pawn. Um, the bishop is protecting here. So the Zugzwang move, you'll notice, but just taking here doesn't work. The bishop takes at the very best a draw, maybe losing that game if black can get this pawn down the other end of the board. Um, but Paul Morphy came up with this and it is an absolutely beautiful idea. Um, and it is rook to A6. Rook to A6, a little bit funky, doesn't look like something all that special which as many of the great moves in chess initially don't look great you're thinking okay they can just take it with the pawn here obviously if that happens we just checkmate them like this very beautifully and then if they move away with the bishop then we can do this and checkmate them there as well so a really nice example of zugzwang here where we just slam the rook in here and anything that black can do either moving the bishop away is like any anywhere along this square loses to this um and if they take here that loses to the very pretty pawn checkmate. That's our second example. Moving on to our third example, which is one from my uh, my own games, which is why I've included it here. Uh, not as fancy, not as much of a circus position, um, but still useful. And I actually, it was one I consciously set up uh, in a rapid game. So I'm, I'm happy enough with it. Basically, we see here, we are black to play. We're playing as the black pieces this time. And we do have a distinct advantage. We're two pawns up, like we're going to win this game, but... Uh, I used a little bit of Zugzwang to, to help us get there in the end. So my move to put white into Zugzwang uh, was just this move here, bishop to b6. So the only legal moves for white are either pushing this pawn, which will just get gobbled up, and then we can continue to work our magic on uh, this pawn here, or alternatively a king move. Those are the only two pieces that can move. Um, and the king, because of this bishop here, its only option is to leave the defense of this pawn. So again, not as like cut and dry, or, or I suppose it's a little bit simpler in this particular case because we have an overwhelming material advantage. Um, but all the same, any move that white makes here, by virtue of them having to move, put themselves at a disadvantage. If they didn't have to move, yeah, again, they could just sit in this position because all of their pieces are on white squares, or light squares, I should say. Um, all we could really do was push this pawn, and again, that would end up in a draw. So very in that case a very typical example of Zugzwang 
by virtue of them having to move, which I think they just shifted their king across, we take here, we end up promoting and winning the game pretty handily. Let's just play it out on the big screen. And I don't know why I'm doing this, maybe to show you that I can do checkmates. Um, and I did in this particular case. So those are three examples of Zugzwang. We had the simple rook king, we had Morphe's puzzle um, with the rook a6, beautiful maneuver. And then we had my little dinky example, which was a lot of fun. And I was happy to finally use Zugzwang in a game. Uh, hope that all makes sense. Hope the concept is clear. Um, it's probably more fun and interesting to know than it will be like a big tactic to use in your games. Um, but just keep it, just file it away deep back there. And you never know when it might come in handy. That's all from me today, folks. Hope you have a good one. Take it easy.